Hello, my name is David. I'm the literacy educator at the Eric Carl Museum of Picture Book Art. Thank you so much for joining Storytime with the Carl, our weekly read aloud series. This week, we'll be sharing We March by Shane W. Evans. Big thanks to Shane Evans and to Macmillan Books for giving us permission to share this beautiful non-fiction book. This book is about a very special moment in civil rights history when over 250,000 people came together at the Washington Monument for the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom. It happened on August 28th, 1963. Over 250,000 people came together to stand up and to say everyone deserves to be treated fairly and with dignity. And on the cover, we see people of all different races and genders and ages marching together. We March by Shane W. Evans. What do we see on our title page? We see stars and the moon. What time of day do you think it is? Hmm. Let's see. The morning is quiet. It's morning. It's so early in the morning, the stars are still up in the sky. The sun isn't even up yet, and people are already starting to march. Some people are still in bed. It looks like it's time for these kids to wake up. Can you reach your arms way high up into the sky? Reach them way high up and stretch. Oh, that's a good morning stretch. Try to reach the sun. All the way up to the sun. Nice stretching. The sun rises. And we prepare. To prepare means to get ready. What is this family doing to get ready? Yeah, they're getting dressed. They're tying their shoes. Looks like the father is helping tie the kids' shoes. And they get ready. To march. Where do you think they're walking to? Hmm, maybe to this church. Yeah, a lot of the time during the civil rights movement, churches were important places where people came together to plan and to organize. We pray for strength. How strong are you? Can I see how strong you are? Let's see. Those big muscles. Yeah, you are so strong. We work together. Working together is so important. Because even though you, I can tell, are so strong on your own, when we come together and work together, we are even stronger. We're unstoppable. What, are, what is the family doing now? It looks like they're making a sign. 
and they're using red paint to write in big letters, we want freedom. And there are lots of other people making their posters and their signs too. We come from all over to march. How did people get there? Some people, yeah, some people took buses to get all the way to Washington, D.C. Some were coming from so far away, they took big buses to the march. We follow our leaders. There were a lot of important leaders during the civil rights movement. Do you know who this person is in the middle? That's right. That's Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And Dr. King is marching with all these people who are holding up signs that say what they believe in Things like, we demand equal rights now. Equal work. Equal pay. Justice for all. We are marching for freedom now. We walk together. We sing. Singing is another important way that we can unite and find strength. Look at all these people who have marched all the way to the Washington Monument and the National Mall and at the National Mall, there's a long reflecting pool. What are the kids doing at the pool? Yeah, they're cooling off by dipping their toes in the water. We are hot and tired, but we are filled with hope. We lean on each other. When you're feeling tired, it is so nice to be able to lean on someone for help and support. If there's someone nearby you, feel free to lean on them or give them a big hug. And if not, you can give yourself a big hug, right? because it can be hard. It can be hard when you're so tired and you've been walking a long time. We lean on each other. As we march to justice, we can see all these people standing together in front of the Lincoln Memorial to listen to their leaders speak. As we march to justice, to freedom, to our dreams. And here we see Dr. King giving his beautiful, I have a dream speech. And in the background, we can see some of the words from that speech. Free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are free at last.
this book is about a really well-known special moment in civil rights history, right? The March on Washington. It's a really well-known event. There are lots of really important events from the civil rights era when people came together to speak for change. A lot of those people were children, just like you, including children who marched in the Birmingham Children's Crusade. And during that time, thousands of young kids came together to speak up for change. And you can learn more about the Birmingham Children's Crusade in this really beautiful book, Let the Children March, by Monica Clark Robinson, and beautiful illustrations by Frank Morrison. And works from both of these books are included in the exhibition Picture the Dream, the story of the civil rights movement through children's books, which is currently up at the Carl right now. And visitors to the museum have been sharing what kind of change they would like to see by painting their own signs of change. <laughs> Here are a couple of examples that people have left with us. This sign says, Black Lives Matter. And this one says, Save the Ocean. Right? If you were to march today, what would you march for? What do you want to see happen in the world? If you're nearby, please stop by the art studio and share your voice and your art with us. You can also pick up materials for this project um, at curbside or coming inside the building and picking up a kit to go. Um, we would love to hear what you believe. And if you're not nearby and you're not able to visit in person, but you're interested in learning more about the Picture the Dream exhibition, you can join us this Thursday evening at 7 p.m. for a gallery talk with the guest curator of the show, Andrea Davis Pinckney. You can register for free at the link in the description. On behalf of everyone at the Carl, thank you so much for joining our story time and sharing your stories. We hope you'll join us next time. In the meantime, Keep marching, keep singing, keep leaning on each other, and keep speaking what you believe. Keep making the world the place you want it to be.